Hello everyone, welcome to this short vlog. Guess where I am? <laughs> I am in a place called Marsa Shagara, which is an eco village in the Egyptian Red Sea. vacation in the eco village of Marsa Shagra or Shakra, Shagra in the uh, local dialect. I am gonna take you with me to snorkel in the Red Sea. It's been a while since I've been snorkeling so I'm excited. As you might know from uh, my welcome video, um, I am a marine biologist, so I actually used to dive and snorkel a lot for work. I don't anymore because I mostly teach now. However, um, I am going snorkeling today and I will take you with me to show you a little bit of what that is like for me. I've already had breakfast. It is about 8.30 in the morning and the weather outside is about 25 24 degrees celsius and yeah i'm just gonna get ready and go snorkeling see you in a second So this is the beach access point, the only one you're allowed to get in the water from because otherwise you'd be walking on the coral reef and that is not allowed. And you get in through here and you either go north and explore the north house reef or you go south and explore the south house reef of Marsa Shagra. I'm gonna go north today. Um, because the current comes from the north, so if I swim against the current in the beginning of my snorkel, then I get tired, then I just relax and let the current carry me all the way back to the access point. very colorful corals. Pretty sure I missed out on a lot of detail, but that always happens. Hoping that the pictures I took and the videos, I can later zoom in on them and see whatever I missed. So, nothing that really big like a turtle or a shark, but lots of beautiful corals. It's very nice to be back. So, one of my least favorite things in the world is open buffets because I could never read these labels that tell you what's in the thing and I also can't see well enough just by looking inside the pot to know what's in it so usually I would have to pick those labels up 
close so I could... What the hell is goat soup? Anyway. Um, so yeah, I would have to do that. To see. But otherwise, food is good. Food is always good. I went snorkeling again. And guess what I saw? There's a bunch of other underwater footage from my whole stay here. Five days worth of I was just sitting here after my snorkel, chilling out before lunch and I heard some divers coming out of the water talking about things they've seen. They were talking about nudibranchs. Nudibranchs are sea slugs that are kind of between one and three centimeters long. Very, very small, but super colorful and, and pretty. Of course, no way I could see those by myself, especially snorkeling because you're kind of far from the reef unless you dive down and get close and look around. But even if I were scuba diving, the only way I could see something like that is if a buddy points it out to me and says, here, there's a nudibranch over there. Even then, I wouldn't really be able to see it very well. I would just kind of know the general location of where it is, and then I could point my camera and take a picture and zoom in on it later. But yeah, usually this kind of uh, small thing, definitely I miss out on those. A lot of people ask me if my vision underwater is so poor, then how did I complete a PhD in marine science? Well, in my case, actually, my PhD project did not require a whole lot of field work and diving. And the little bit that I did need to do, I simply asked um, some colleagues to do the visual work for me while I just helped by being a dive buddy, by being on the boat, etc. You don't actually have to dive at all to be a marine biologist, but in my case, I um, just had some awesome co-workers helping me out.
my camera ran out of memory, so I have to finish this blog on my iPhone. In case anyone was wondering, my PhD was all about designing marine protected areas to protect coral reefs like the one you just saw. There was a little bit of field work, but mostly computer work. Good times, good times. Also, in case anyone was wondering, the camera I was using was a uh, Canon PowerShot G12. Pretty decent camera, I like it. And it's a specific underwater housing, of course. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions for me. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I hope this has given you some insight into my underwater experience. This was my last day in uh, Marsa Alam, Marsa Shagra village. Um, have to go back to Cairo tomorrow. It was really great stay, highly recommended. And with that, I'll tell you goodbye from Marsa Shagra. See you soon.